All right, all my 5510 friends, I'm going to do a sample video on how you can log into the Google Classroom and what it will look like for you when you log in. And hopefully if you've been having any trouble with this, this will clear it up. Um, and if it doesn't, you can feel free to email me and I will troubleshoot with you over the phone. So first thing you're going to do when you see your desktop is you're going to open up your browser. So I'm going to use Safari and then you're just going to go to Google. Okay. Now when you're at Google, you should make sure that you're not signed into any other account. The way you see that you're not signed into any other account is you'll see this little blue sign in button. That means that no other account is open. If there are other accounts open, you can click on them. They'll be right here and click the sign out option and then when you go to sign in fresh, you'll have a fresh start. So I'm going to click sign in. And for now, I'm going to click on a, a um, I'm, I, I'm going to use a, a student's account to log in. So Shimon. And for this, you have to make sure that you're using the Yorkville Community School email address. After you've signed in, you'll see a blank Google screen like this with your icon up here. You want to click on the nine dots and you want to click on the Google Classroom icon. Once you go into Google Classroom, you will see just my classroom and that's the only classroom you should be a part of. Once you have clicked into Google Classroom, you'll have access to a few different tabs. The first one is the live stream. This is similar to a live stream that you might experience on a social media feed. And I will be able to post announcements here. You'll be able to see assignments pop up and uh, the order in which they're posted. And you will also be able to see upcoming assignments that are due. So for example, attendance, every day you're going to sign in and you're going to um, check yourself in for attendance. And that's how attendance will be taken. After that uh, time for attendance is done, it will close and you won't be able to. You'll be able to see a few other notifications for upcoming things all here. You can click view all for all of the things that are coming up. If you get to a screen and you're not sure how to get back to the home screen, all you have to do is click these three little lines up here and go back to Mr. Aaron. Now you're back at the home screen. You can click on classwork and this page is nice because it divides all of the different work up by subject. So if you just want to find a specific topic in a specific subject, you can click on your classwork tab and scroll around to see what you're looking for. For example, you'll find all the morning meeting topics in SEL or social emotional learning. You'll find all read aloud topics in the read aloud section. Home of the Brave is our read aloud and all of our writing topics will be organized under writing. All of the new topics that we're going to be doing are going to be under this writing tab, unless otherwise specified. And all of the math topics are going to be under this math tab, again, unless otherwise specified, and same with reading. Your problem of the day will be posted every morning and it will be right up here under a problem of the day tab. I haven't created it yet. All the people that are in our classroom are over here, and these are all your classmates that you already know. You cannot email or interact with your classmates here because we haven't activated the email feature for this Yorkville Community School account, so you don't have to worry about any of that. All of the teachers that have access to this classroom are over here, and again, you won't be able to email anyone because you don't have access to the email. However, if you do want to reach me and have me pass along a message or get in touch with anybody, my email will always be at the top of the feed. You can also contact me by calling or texting this number. That's my Google number, and it will be available from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Monday through Friday. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any other questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me, and I will be happy to answer them for you.